um, thinking about my videos and I thought let's do something a little bit different and I think I've made this before and um, didn't really expand on it but um, it's when you're around that time of that month and it's at the end of the month and you look in the cupboard or your cabinets and then you find this and um, you need that nice protein and you want to make it flavorful so I know some people use um, like jack mackerel and but I like the salmon it's already cooked it's in a can um, the bones are dissolvable so you can strain it but I mean I strained it and it's fine but I would let, let's make some croquettes here okay so I'm gonna make some croquettes and um, I think that'll be kind of nice to have. You can serve it on a salad. You can serve it with pasta. Uh, you can serve it. See the bones in there. There's a bone in. Uh, there's a bone in there. There's an imprint. And it's so look. It's thoroughly cooked where you could just absolutely dissolve it. That's where your calcium is. And I would just go ahead and press it. have a nice have a nice uh, add some flavor to it <laughs> so we're gonna make some croquettes all right and how do you flavor up this canned fish this canned salmon and you can make tuna I mean there's you know there's so many different ways I mean you could use you could do uh, uh, chicken if you have chicken in a can so basically I like to heat up my veggies because it's already cooked so I'm gonna go ahead and heat up my veggies add a little bit of your your favorite oil and then I'm just going to go ahead and this is so good after a long swim have that nice protein add your your onions I add onions you can add green onions if you want if you add the green onions you really don't have to cook them I'm gonna add some celery to that and I like the leafy part of the celery because it has more flavor more vitamins okay and, and I treat it like an herb. So I'm going to go ahead and put that, the leafy part of the celery, into my salmon. Then I'm going to continue to cook with some Italian peppers. So these are Italian peppers. They're yummy. Substitute for an egg like chia seed. Get some color. I like color. Ooh. Just finely chop that up. Add a little 
bit of more oil to that. Heat it up. Meanwhile, you want to heat up the oil in, um, and I like using a cast iron skillet. And when you use your cast iron skillet, please wash it between your cast iron skillets. The seasoning comes from when you wash it and you re-season it with oil, but wash your cast iron skillet. This is flat leaf parsley. I like the flavor. It's a little bit rustic. It's a little bit um, stronger than the uh, curly leaf parsley. And I'm going to add some other flavors to that. And let me see. Um, I think I want to add a little bit of my smoked paprika. I love the smokiness of it because it reminds me of a, a barbecue. And it reminds me of something else. I just love the flavor. I mean, it smells like, yeah, it's like you're outdoors or something. I got 21 seasonings here. I'm going to add that in there because I want it flavorful. And then I'm going to add some of my relish. Um, so I made this, um, relish. It's um, zucchini relish. It's so yummy. So I'm just like, that's a heaping teaspoon. Just add maybe two. I like some relish in it. Mm. Kind of sweet. Twangy. Tangy. Sweet. Okay. Now, I'm going to add some egg. To measure it. Actually, I'm gonna wait. This is done. So I'm gonna go ahead and place some of these wonderful veggies. And I'm gonna stir that up in there. Which which should cool off the heat. Then, so it's already cooked, and at this point, you could taste. You could taste it to see to incorporate your other flavors before you add the egg. Oh, oh that's good. Mm. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit of my egg white. And if you want to add some mustard, you can. But I don't think I want to. I think the um, relish really kicked it up a notch. Oops. And then make sure you don't put any shells in there. And just kind of mix it. And then you want to add some kind of bread crumb. So my mother used to... Um, if you have crackers and you can crumble up your crackers and add them, I have some panko. I'm going to add some panko. About a nice tablespoon panko, panko bread crumbs. And they're kind of crunchy. So your open this up. Let's put that on. And you want to put on a hot point and then lower your heat. Okay. And this would go real well with like a like a nice if you want to do a tartar sauce. If you want to make some patties um, for your um, if you want to make them into salmon burgers. I oh, will call them mini salmon burgers. Sliders. This is really, really good. And it's inexpensive. So, I think that's done. And that binds. The egg binds it up. I want to make sure it's thoroughly stirred. Mixed. Thoroughly mixed. Okay. And you just take make some little tiny patties like so 
Like I said, if you want to add some green onions instead of, or red onions instead of um, the regular white onions, you can do that. And then I'm just going to make them before I, because I want them, and put, go ahead and put your hand in those. Make sure everything is kind of mixed up. Those, you don't get any of those bones. <laughs> so, I mean, I mean, it's so well cooked already, the salmon that I mean, you won't taste the bones so you want to make sure that your patties are like at the same um, volume weight same size okay. oops I lost that but you want to make sure you have the binder in there. And these are nice and thick. So I'm going to start putting them in. Uh, that's a little bit too much. And I can tell by weighing them in my hand, but if you have a scale, you can weigh them as well in your scale. Be very careful when you put them in. And you want enough oil. Oops. You want enough oil that's going to um, cover the bottom. Okay. That's a safer way of doing it. Using a spatula and placing the the patty in into the into the oil is a really good safe way of doing it. really good. I mean, they're easy to make and they're yummy. I'm going to go ahead and lower that. So you want to adjust the heat. You can tell when they're done, when they're starting to brown on the sides. And these are great if you're camping and say you want to make some, uh, say you, you're fishing and you caught a salmon and you want to do it right there. Yeah, just chop up the meat real well, you know, the, the fillets, just chop them up really well, finely, and then and then cook it on the lower, on the lower heat. And you know when you touch it should be firm. So, it's a little bit overdone, but that's okay. I'm gonna let that cook a little bit longer because I want that to have that really caramel Lies look so I'll probably cooked a little bit too fast because I had the fire on too high or the heat on too high. This is really easy and they're fun to make. I like mine with rice in salad, like a white rice. If you want a brown rice and a salad. And like I said, if you want to make a sauce, you can make a sauce with mayo, relish, uh, uh, ketchup, and um, some some uh, um, mustard, equal amounts. And you got a nice oh, burger sauce. You have a nice burger sauce with um, with that. Sometimes they go down. Put that on there. That could use a little bit, and then you have that carryover cooking, so. 
You want to clean up your mess as you go. Make sure you have your tub of sanitized water. I put just a little bit of bleach on in there. There's also some organic sanitation, but nothing beats um, really just killing all that bacteria. 